what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another episode <coughs> excuse me I'm back with another episode of broken ambition guys i'm quietly whispering not really quiet whispering because it is like five o'clock in the morning when i'm doing this um and I don't really have to whisper, but it just feels appropriate. But anyway, guys, if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode, our girl Miss um, Azula met up with Zane and Zayari Zars. I always mess up his name. Um, mom, because she's like, you know, I think you're great. I think you're fantastic. I made you some cookies. I want you to marry my son. And she's like, girl, what are you talking about? Like, your son has a wife. Like girl what are you talking about she's like thank you for the offer thank you for being here you know i'll come see you sometime but girl don't be funny um speaking of zane zane has been going through all kinds of emotions with us and all kinds of like um moods with us um because we've been spending a lot of time with zayari um so he's just been really moody to us and really acting funny to us. Mercedes' dad came and told him that now it's the time for us to die because it is the end of the month. And Zane told him he would kill us by the end of the month. So that is where we left off with Zane holding a gun to our girl, Miss Azula's head. So let's jump into the episode. And see what is the tea. It was Zane. I was being held at gunpoint by Zane? Why does it surprise me? Why did the sudden... Why the sudden change of motive? We were just fucking eating ice cream by the park together. Is he sane? Zane, stop fucking playing with me. Are you seriously about to kill me? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I should be asking you that. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it now. Not a girl crying. And he can't do it. Maybe if you call Zahari, he'll save you. But he won't because he's not me. What? Is that what this is about? Are you jealous of Zari? I told you to stay away from him. He's your brother. Why would I want anything to do with him? Why was he in your bedroom? He, I, he was just giving me... It doesn't matter. Why are you acting like a psycho? Either way, I'm still going to have to kill you. Did I know it was going to end like this? Yes. But is this how I wanted it to end? I don't know. For all the hope I had before had been burned to ashes, my heart beating at a rapid pace, I knew it was time to die. Why would he ever keep me? That's not how these things work. Not in reality. Saying, can I tell you one more thing before I go? Zane, I fuck. Fuck, if I hear you speak again in that broken voice, I might just lose it. Run. Run and never come back here again. Run. You got to get out of here. Girl, not we being set free. To freedom! Zane, what are you... You need to get out of here. Zane, what are you talking about? If you keep going down that path, you'll find a gate. Once it's open, I need you to run. Keep running through this forest until you reach the city. Why are you still just standing there? He's right. Why am I still just standing here? This is what I've been wanting. Isn't it? I don't want to go. Well, I do, but... Am I ready to leave all of this behind? Am I sudden supposed to just act like none of this ever happened? Is 
saying, take me to the gate. Bye. <laughs> At least take me to the gate. Damn. I want you to take me to the gate. I can't. Go home, Maisie. I mean, if we be honest, this is low-key Stockholm Syndrome. Because she fell in love with a captor. This man kidnapped us. Stockholm Syndrome, baby. Stockholm Syndrome. Very much run, Saba, and never return. Girl, we've been set free. Freedom! Freedom! Oh! She's dead? Oh! No, but your ass is about to be. <gasps> Did you hear me, son? I said, is she dead? Oh, he didn't actually shoot him, but he wanted to. Yeah. Good. Now let's all enjoy this lovely meal that's been prepared for us. He should have shot him. I'm just saying. Just go ahead and shoot him. What's the worst that could happen? It ain't like his daughter gonna do anything. You know, it's rude to have your phone out at the dinner table. She's officially gone? <gasps> finally! Took you long enough, but I'm glad you finally decided to get rid of her. Not to be that kind of person, but she served no purpose here. Why hasn't the gate opened yet? I'm not hungry right now. Girl, she never know. I'm pretty sure that girl cheat half the time anyway, so. Girl, no, he done got to bed. <laughs> That's like, you know, he just took a picture of us and then saved it. Love that. Fuck. I'm sorry. Was he... Zane, my dad spent hours preparing that celebration dinner for us. He didn't even make it. <laughs> That's it. He, he spent hours preparing. He didn't even make it. <laughs> like, it's still the thought that counts. Okay, but can we talk about the scene before? Because what was he... What was he doing? <laughs> Are you okay? You seem upset. Can I help relieve the stress? I already did. Can you bring me a towel? Oh, we did. Okay, so that's what I thought, because the head gave it away, but at the same time, I was like, eh? Okay. So about the wedding, I got three ideas for the venue. Can you drop the damn wedding? That's the only thing you talk about. He's still treating me like shit. I thought getting rid of her would finally put an end to it. But no, he's still being a dick. 
gross because he don't want to be with you. <laughs> I mean, duh. The next morning. <laughs> Hello? What? Okay, wh- what do I have to do? I should be excited. This person was willing to give me the help I've been needing. But being so gullible only led me to misfortune last time, and I wouldn't want to repeat my mistakes. But I have to for her sake. Yeah, but because this is gonna take us like a day to get home. More than that, actually. Shit. And where are you going? Hey, not so fast. Exactly. What? Where are you going? The library. I need to print some extra copies of this missing poster. What? Look, Val, if you're having sex, you could have just said that. Because that's the, the lamest excuse ever. I'm not having, I mean, the daytime is wild, but I guess everyone has their preference. Just the library, nothing else. Why does everything have to be so dirty with you? Don't forget to use protection. Girl, you should have just went with the have your, you're having sex. It would have got off your back. Fuck, I didn't know it was going to be snowing tonight. Oh, girl, not a dog. Is that a dog? Yeah, fuck this. And who is this? (gasps) Oh, it's our boxer friend. He doesn't bite. Zuko. Females. What the hell? What is he doing here? Stop right there. I got it. Uh, okay. (laughs) He's like, okay. Why are you all the way over there? I like it here. Excuse me. You're afraid of a furry little dog? Roscoe attack! <laughs> oh my gosh, she about to have a heart attack. Of course, is about to have a heart attack. Um, you said you could help me find my sister. Yeah, I did. Come on. Wait. What's up? Can we forget about what happened at the underground fighting? What underground fighting? Come on. Been to Roscoe. Not exactly, girl. What underground fighting? I don't know what you're talking about. Valencia, Spain. Fuck, I can't do this anymore. (laughs) What the fuck am I even doing? How can I, how can my life turn, take a turn so unexpectedly? Went from kicking ass every day to soaking in a room with only a leg to look at. And now look at me, freezing to death on the side of the road. And a part of me was regretting my decision to leave. No matter how hard I tried to, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I hated it. I craved him beside me if anyone could keep me warm right now, and I know it would be him. 
Yeah, girl. It, it, oh, my. No way. I caught myself smiling thinking about him. That dude would sound like me. He had to drug me or something. Girl, no. Y'all just love each other. But y'all both just too crazy to love each other. I'm pathetic. Am I really sitting here blushing over someone who just held a loaded gun to my temple? I feel so weak and stupid. As my cold breath disappeared in the air, I couldn't help but think about what I was going to do next. When I go home, what will be there waiting for me? The guilt I felt for leaving them in misery when they needed me the most. Ugh, my life's all fucked. What are you doing outside my house? Stay the fuck away from me. I have a fist and I won't hold back. That's crazy. Me too. <gasps> Got her. Okay. Uh, what? What? Huh? Girl, what the fuck just happened? Did we get re-kidnapped? How did we get re-kidnapped? What is happening? And girl, my head hurts. My head hurts. Because this... Y'all are crazy on here. Y'all making my head hurt. But anyway, guys... That is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.